Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing really good. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is SR Extensor 15 laptop motherboard and this motherboard problem is it's not charged the battery. So now I will take step by step all the required voltage to charge the battery. So let's try to fix it. So as you can see this is a motherboard part number LA-K093P. So let me plug in first. So plugged in and look at my power supply. It's uh, let's check first the DC in voltage in this coil. So as you can see, this coil connect to this uh, DC care jack so let's check here we have 19 volt on the side we have also 19 volt let's flip the board and let's check this two MOSFET here so we have 19 volt other side also okay check this gate pin 25 this also okay now check this current sensor resistor we have 19 volt so this side is clear now I'm going to Connect the battery. Let's see what happened after connect this battery. Plug right, in. Check this battery connector. As you can see, it's a zero. There is no voltage. It's zero. So now I will check this battery impedance like this this is a positive this is a negative so as you can uh, see it's uh, given beeps that means this uh, battery line shot to ground okay so now i'm going to find out which parts is shot to ground in this uh, battery section so uh, Let's check here. Here we will also do capacitor. And uh, first I will check uh, this two MOSFET. This is uh, this uh, two MOSFET is in channel MOSFET. So let's check one by one. Okay, this MOSFET is good. And this MOSFET is given B so at first I will open this MOSFET Okay. okay, it's still short, MOSFET is good, just put it back, so now I will remove this capacitor and then I will check again okay we got a problem this capacitor is short to ground as you can see it look like good there is no crack no blown or anything else but this capacitor is uh, is bad let's check this again as you can see it's full shot so I had it let's put back another one this is good so 
Let's connect the battery again. Plugged in. Let's check here. Now we have 12 volt and uh, look at my power supply. It's taking 1.3 amps. That means this uh, battery charging now. Let's check with my oscilloscope and uh, look at my oscilloscope screen. It's charging now. So we successfully fixed this motherboard. It's uh, very easy to fix if you follow the step by step how to check voltage and impedance so you can easily fix any problem any problem. So thanks for watching. If you like this video so please hit the subscribe button if you already subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.